For the third year, the Gateway Arch Park Foundation and National Blues Museum are bringing back blues at the Arch to Gateway Arch National Park this month, featuring local, regional, and national blues artists. We have a special guest joining us today with more insight on blues at the Arch. Welcome Tom Nagel, the communications manager at the Gateway Arch Park Foundation to STL Live. Thanks for joining us, Tom. Well, thanks so much for having me. Well, it's anything about the Arch, I'm all in. Tell me more about the foundation. Well, the Gateway Arch Park Foundation, we used to be called City Arch River, and you might remember for about five years, City Arch River Project was really transforming the Gateway Arch National Park. So where there was an interstate mm -hmm. blocking you from the Arch, now there's a brand new entrance. So nice. Park over the highway, you can buy lemonade and ice cream. <laughs> over the highway yeah. and then over by the Eads Bridge where there's a parking garage, mm -hmm. well that's a new beautiful amphitheater. Yeah. And we call that the North Gateway and there's a big event coming up tomorrow. Oh yeah, well yeah. you had me at Lemonade. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me the, uh, what, why the name change? To Gateway Arch National Park? Yeah. Well you know it was always called the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial <laughs> before the thing was even built. They were calling it that in the yeah. 1930s. Yeah. And then Eero Saarinen, and his birthday was just a few days ago on August 20th, okay. happy along birthday. with me. Oh, well, happy birthday <laughs> to you, too. Leo's in yeah, the house. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, in 1947, he came up with this design for a monument that we all know today, that's the Gateway Arch. Arch. And that just far and away blew people's minds yeah. and just overshadowed, you know, the idea of the park. Um, and just became the defining feature. So few people in St. Louis knew it was called the Jefferson National Expansion right. Memorial. They knew it as mm -hmm. the Gateway Arch. Absolutely. So of course that monument embodies all the ideas of that old name, the westward expansion of the United States. Yeah. But now it's all about the arch, yeah. all about the symbolism, the monument, and then the museum underneath, which is brand new. We talk about all those themes and top topics. Thomas Jefferson, Lewis and Clark, That's right. the founding of St. Louis, 250 years ago and all of that. That's really great to yeah. have that uh, beneath the arch. So mm -hmm. you've got the foundation and the history embedded there, but yeah. then the hope and the opportunity that comes with the, the arch and what it represents. Exactly. Yeah. St. Louis started at the river yeah. and the arch is that landmark that says St. Louis and all of the West started right here. That's right, and expanded from there. Look yes. at us now. <laughs> so tell me about the mission then. You all are determined to do what in particular? Sure, so the Gateway Arch Park Foundation, we finished that renovation last year, mm -hmm. and we're not gonna disappear or go away. Okay. Our mission is to enhance and transform the arch ground, but also make it um, exciting, interesting, vibrant, yeah. And not just now, but for generations to come. So people might have thought of the arch before as something they look at from far away, yeah. but there's a park underneath that, yeah. and you can enjoy it. You can walk your dog, you can go jogging, you can stroll on five uh, and more miles of new and renovated Ooh, pathways. Yeah. You can ride that Great Rivers Greenway Trail on the riverfront, yeah. and then you can come down for all sorts of cool events like Blues at the Arch, this is great. free concerts. Yeah. In October, we have Arch Bark. <laughs> this is a dog festival <laughs> sponsored by Royal Canaan okay. underneath the Arch. That's Come great. down with yeah. your family members, the ones that are really fuzzy. <laughs> Talking about your dogs, you love right. them. I was gonna say, I have some <laughs> fuzzy family members that are four-legged yeah. family members, but uh, that's a great idea. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is you want us to come, engage, enjoy, and take part in what you all have built and renovated, yeah. and then want to keep, uh, I guess what sustains it is our activity, right? Exactly. Super, so we've got free concerts. That's right. You know, blues is rooted here in St. Mm -hmm. Louis in August. Tell me a little bit more about that, and we'll go into more depth, of course, after the break. Sure. How about we do this? We'll just take the break, okay? And then we'll come back and talk about the awesome concert, free concerts that's coming uh, in August. Is that good? Okay. All right, I'm with it too. Uh, please stay with us at STL Live. We'll have more with Tom Nagel right after this break.